In this class, you will study about the animation options in the Motion Path Animation command. This command simulates the camera path and other options as well. Open the Recreation Area file located in the Course Files. The Motion Path Animation command makes it possible to generate animation following the camera path with a viewport. The Movement Path defines how the camera captures a target point. It is possible to use lines, circles, ellipses, polylines and splines. In the scene you will see a swimming pool and a light post. You also see a sinuous line around the path. Click the Motion Path Animation option on the Render Tab Animations panel to open the Options box. In the Camera option, define how the camera will be linked to the path. There are two ways based on a point, whereas you link the camera to a point and the target can vary according to the selected path. The other way is based on a path, in which case you'll specify a path for the camera to follow based on a fixed target. You select the point on the line to define the position of the camera in the point option. Now target is different from the path option, as you need to define a path for the camera to follow. Click here on this line. In animation settings, you input the number of frames per second in the animation. In the first recordings, you can decrease this value to 15, 10 or even 7 frames per second. The Number of Frames field defines the animation time as set in the previous field. It is so simple, if you define the frame rate for animation at 30 and the number of frames at 90, then the duration field will change to 3 seconds. In visual styles you define the display mode. Remember, you can also select the display for the workspace and also the available rendering properties. The resolution is also important. A high resolution makes the data processing time longer, meanwhile improving the video quality considerably. The video format can also be defined in this area. It's best to keep the corner deceleration option enabled to reduce the camera speed in the corners. Click Preview to check your recorded animation. You can see if the camera was still during the recording and only follow the path. Close this option and return to the properties. Click Path and define the path for the camera to follow and not just the point. You will see in Target there are two options enabled. In Point you select the point in the scene for the camera to capture throughout the entire path. Take a look at this example. Now let's change to Path and you will see the camera is not capturing the same point anymore, but now the entire path. Click OK and save the video. As we previously had commented, Motion Path makes it possible to record a video with rendered scenes. And then, using the available viewing options, it is possible to create a realistic looking video.
However, to do this, you need to remember that each frame in the animated video needs rendering. It takes quite a long time to perform this process, but the results will be rewarding. In this class, you studied about creating animations, applying the Animation Motion Path command.